Hey guys, 577 Jersey today. How's everybody doing? All right. Um, I used to do tree work back in the day, so I got ropes and carabiners and saddles and harnesses and all that stuff. And just enough knowledge to make me dangerous. So by all means, this is not a DIY or a how-to. Do not try this on your own unless you get special training. I'm going to take that knowledge and try to extrapolate it for mountaineering. And uh, I always wanted to see if I could do a little repelling over here. Because uh, I'm going to probably want to use this in the future for my mine exploration and uh, caving. So make it a little bit safer. That way you got a rope. Well, that way you got a means of getting in and back out. So, all right, let's go see what we can do. Bump, bump. Looks like we're going to hook up to probably the base of that tree there or this one here. This beach here with a running bowling, and then we'll get geared up with the harness and figure eight and start working our way down. Got a 150 foot, a half inch climbing line here. All right, gonna throw this down there. For our anchor point, it looks like a white ash tree and then we just got our climbing line tied around it using a running bowling and then we got this uh, safety hitch at the end so it can't slip through but like I said don't try this stuff at home this is dangerous I'm just out here playing around having fun Make sure you lock your beaners. And what we're doing is using a figure eight here. It's a descending device. I think it's rated for 32 kilonewtons, so that's extremely strong. And my line is a half inch arborist line. I think it's 12 strand. Oh no, I'm sorry, this might be 16 strand. And it's also rated at like 5,000 pounds, so. All right, let's see if we can go down. See if you want to stop, just bring this over and then lock it. Now you can take a break. <clears throat> Definitely a workout. We're almost down, guys. <sighs> Looks like we got just enough rope. This would be really useful for getting down like the shaft in a mine or a cave. And then you would also have to ascend back out too, so that's a totally different technique. at the bottom Whew. beautiful it looks like we got about eight feet of rope left <clears throat> all right let's un unhook and hike back up this figure eight's nice and warm now definitely generates some heat All right, guys, now we're headed to a throne room rock. It's a place that I located about two months ago, and I didn't see any trails or anything going to it, so I think I'm one of the few people that know about it. And I named it also, because there's this cool spot where it actually looks like you're sitting on a throne, 
and you're inside of a little room i'll show you another thing i wanted to ask is if you guys could uh if you're believers if you guys could say a prayer for my dad he hasn't been feeling too good lately he's been suffering from a tinnitus in the ears for years now and it just escalated to the point where he can't sleep at all anymore and uh he just told me that he's he said he's dying and he feels like there's no way out feels like he's trapped in his own body so if any of you guys i, I appreciate it if you guys would pray for uh for some peace for my dad i would really appreciate that you have to get off the main trail which is down there and bushwhack up the side of this hill here there she is off in the distance throwing room rock let's get up a little closer and take a look This is it right here, Lord. Oh, guys. Get in here and sit down on this rock. Get some protection from the wind and the rain. And just look out over the side of the mountain. Throwing room rock. the only video on YouTube you'll find of it. Bump bump. Oh dude, there's like a little cave there. That's probably a bear den. I didn't bring my flashlight today, but that looks pretty enticing. Yeah, let's get up top here and see if we can throw a rope down. I bet you this is a perfect spot right here. Let's get this rope anchored off back here at the base of this tree and then we'll take a look. Oh, looks like a pretty solid tree, huh? Ain't going nowhere. guys thanks for coming along my GoPro battery died my spare GoPro battery died after like three minutes so I don't know what's going on with that thing piece of junk so I should have brought my power bank with me but I didn't think about it so I never did end up rappelling off of that uh, throne room rock I'm gonna save that for another time when we have the GoPro all charged up and ready to go right now I'm just finishing out with my phone so just make a quick outro for you guys with the phone Thanks for coming along. We got to do a little bit of repelling off the cliff over there and uh, got to take a nice hike to Throne Room Rock. I'm trying to sharpen up my skills a little bit with these ropes again. That way if I decide to go down into some of these hard rock mines someday, I'll have a safe way in and out. So, all right, man, 577 Jersey. We'll catch you on the next one. Bump, bump. <laughs>